Hey everyone, welcome back to the Seven Circle. My name is Eric. We're back from hiatus, and today we're going to show you a ruined church, how to paint it up. Today I'm going to go over a recent print I made by Danny Amingle. You can find his work on my mini factory, or you can go to my new Etsy shop if you want a physical copy printed in the U.S. I printed this on my Any Cubic Viper using eSun Plus. I like to use Camouflage Rust-Oleum Earth Brown to prime all of my rock with. It's great, cheap, and looks good. I like to print my PLA models with a brim just to make sure it has extra stability, so I'm just going to trim this off and move on to paint. I like to do my terrain projects using these dollar store makeup brushes. And the first color I'm coming in with is a Zinc Gray by Deco Art. And I'm going to wipe most of the paint off on a piece of paper towel and just dry brush a solid base layer uh, until I get a nice consistent color. I want some of that primer, that dark brown primer, to show through for an aged effect. I then follow up with slate gray, uh, another dry brush over top of this, and go through the whole set of ruins. Then I wanted to tie each of the pieces using a little weathering powder. Uh, you want to make sure you got an old brush. You don't want to use one of your good ones here. I got an old beat up dry brush. And just gently brush it in uh, and you'll see that the dust kind of gets right in the cracks there. It gives it a nice coloring uh, like it's been worn and, and uh, abused here over the ages. Once you're finished, you can seal all that powder in with a good clear matte varnish. I think sometimes we can get freaked out by trying something new. Uh, weathering powders was one of those things for me. It's really not that bad at all. Uh, it goes right where you want it to. Uh, easy to clean up. And uh, don't be afraid of trying something new with your model. Normally I just fast forward uh, this process, it's pretty much the same, but I wanted to leave it in real time in case you're new to weathering powders. I wanted to try it out and you can see uh, exactly what I did in real time. Uh, if you're not interested or you already know about it, you can go ahead and skip to the next timestamp. And then brush some weathering powder on the base of each of the rest of the models just to tie them all together and make them uh, have that same aged, worn down appearance. And before we see the finished photos, just want to thank you for tuning in. Please hit that subscribe and like button. It's the best way you can support the channel.